Good morning beauties, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to quickly just show you what our training material looks like and I don't have a kit laid out here but just to give you an idea of what you should be looking for when you're enrolling in a Hyaluron Pen course. You need to be properly trained. It's important for you to have the right amount of theory, the right amount of practical and of course the right supplies and equipment not only to set you up to be efficient in doing hyaluron pen treatments but also the running the business and um, the business aspect of hyaluron pen so i'm just going to move this camera quickly so point more towards the bed there we go okay so here i just want to just show you okay our hyaluron pen manual a nice and comprehensive manual going through everything with regards to hyaluron pen treatments from mapping aging uh, and then obviously you need to always know that you are getting your consult form so sorry now that i'm upside down uh, obviously you need to get Serums, a pen, our pen is a 0.5 mil pen, and obviously therefore the 0.5 mil ampules. Before touching any of your disposables, make sure that you're wearing gloves to prevent cross-contamination. You need to make sure that your pen is twisted completely open. Using a new disposable for every single procedure is a non-negotiable, even when you're working on yourself. Remove the striker from the ampule. Let me open my hyaluronic acid. You do get a needle in your hyaluronic acid and you are welcome to use that needle to decant your hyaluronic acid into your ampule. I, however, prefer to just decant my hyaluronic acid straight from the syringe into my ampule. I find it easy to manage uh, and a li little less wastage, a little less time. Just make sure that it's a real snug fit. I'm going to try and get it close enough to the camera. And then I press my syringe real, real slow. I'm going to just decant about 0.5 moles or 0.4 moles into my syringe, uh, into my ampule. Uh, real, real slow. You'll get air bubbles if you do this too quickly. And then I slowly remove the syringe from the ampule. Just lay that down and slowly push the striker into the ampule. This will also prevent air bubbles from forming. Great, now I can just screw the ampule into the actual hyaluron pen. Okay, now it's really important for me to make sure that the measurements on my pen and on my ampule add up. If I try and take a shot right now, nothing will come out because they're not lined up. So if you have not used a full, a full ampule, make sure that now you first line the pen up. I turn the pen until I feel a little bit of tension, then slowly push until I see a teeny drop of hyaluronic acid surfacing. Now my pen is ready to go. Step one would be to cleanse. You obviously want to eliminate any bad bacteria from the area before you commence with the treatments. Step two is exfoliate. You want to get rid of all those dry, dead layers of skin before you do your treatment. Now I'm applying my numbing cream. I'm going to leave that on for about 25 minutes to make sure I'm 100% numb before I have to start. Okay, so I'm actually super spoiled and never have to do my own treatments, but for the sake of the video, I thought I'd use myself as a model. I don't feel like I can actually show you the correct angles while working on myself. Um, but I have lots of awesome footage of doing procedures on clients and I thought I'd use them in the next video. Okay, so I used about 0.8 mils of hyaluronic acid in my lips during this procedure. I only used that amount because this was a top up, I think it was about five months, yeah, five months since my last procedure. Then we get to step five, which is massaging. This is super important. You want to make sure that your hyaluronic acid has leveled evenly. I almost want to say think of deep massaging. I use some Arnica oil to massage the lips, but vitamin E is also great. You can also use a vibrating facial massager or a jade roller. Just remember to occlude them. Uh, and yeah, don't be stingy with this step. Having to break down lumps is such a huge hassle. I also like to instruct my clients to do a little bit of massaging, especially if they're feeling any lumps in the lips. 
Um, hydration obviously also is super important. When the lips are dehydrated, it's almost as if the lumps become a lot more apparent. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you even learned something new. I'm super happy to help if you've got any questions. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, um, any feedback is welcome. And thank you so much for watching.